by your tires. Huh? Oh, we're standing in the middle. Come over here. That's good. Yeah. Yep, Kirk, you're in the shot. Okay. Welcome back to D1 V8 Motorsports. We've got a new project. We've got a new project. <laughs> and we're switching it up a little bit. We haven't done a lot of truck stuff on here. So, Mr. Coger, this one's for you. Lindsay, this one's for you. There's a truck project coming. Tell us about it, George. Wait, first, oh. kicking off Sunday fun day here at Burns Brothers Performance. Cheers. Okay, so I'm telling you about it. Yeah. Well, this is my friend Kirk Hall, and he just brought this 72 Chevy pickup um, down to me. And uh, it's actually a really, really nice truck, as you'll see with the walk around. Um, but uh, we're actually gonna change a few things. We're gonna change the color on it, um, half the color on it. It'll stay white and it'll be two-toned. Um, engine, interior, wheels and tires, um, a little bit more lift. <clears throat> yeah. yeah, wheels and tires. Uh, thank you, Kurt, for picking those for us. Uh -huh. We yeah. like these. <laughs> yeah, old school. Yeah, yeah. good choice. So you got your guys' vote. There. Yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be a fun project, and it's a it's a nice truck. We uh, spent a few years um, sending everybody, and the, their brother was sending them '67 to '72 Chevy pickups, and they were all you know rusted piles, and you know they need they all needed everything, and he found this one, and I'm very thankful for that. So yeah. I don't know what else to say. We're gonna walk around this thing. You'll see this in a series, like the other yeah. Burns Brothers Performance builds. It's gonna be nice. We'll even show you the motor going in this thing. Yeah, and uh, so I'm uh, enlisting the help of Joe Miller once again on this project. So he's gonna do the paint on it. He won't get on camera. He's right over there. Um, Hola. Hola. Yeah. So uh, he's going to be doing the paint on this one. For the Phantom us. Paint Guy. Yeah. 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 And uh, we're not going to name this one after him or anything like that. So don't get crazy. But um, no, uh, no, he's going to he's going to do the two tone paint on it and all the body work that it needs. It doesn't need much, but uh, it needs a little bit. So he'll uh, he'll get it tuned up and get it two tone. We'll put it back together. Nice. So. Like I said, we'll do the walk around. We'll show you. This is a Guy Mitchell built 468 big block uh, as fresh out of Brett's orange 55 Chevy. So mm -hmm. it's looking good. It's going to run hard in this thing. I think it's a four. What is it now? 469. 469. Oh, oh, slightly larger. Yeah. Slightly yeah. Larger. yeah. So anyway, we'll. It's, uh, it's one better. Right. Yeah. We'll be back on the mission <laughs> belt. Yeah. Right. Yeah. We'll be back with the walk around. At some point, we'll show you the whiteboard. This thing's going to have a pretty solid list of stuff to do. Yeah. Even though we're starting out with a really nice truck, we can't leave it alone. So. <laughs> right. All right. Thanks for watching. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, we're back for the walk around of this beautiful white Chevy truck. George, take us around this thing and talk about what you're going to do to it. Oh, okay. Okay. I need Sun to get another Sunday one. Sunday fun day continues. <laughs> the last here. upload yeah. took a minute, so. Right. So yeah, as we mentioned, this is a, a 72 Chevy pickup. It's a, uh, what is it, a K20? Uh, it has, um, it's actually short bed with uh, three quarter ton axles. Um, I don't know what the gear is. Maybe Kirk knows. Do you know what gear has it? No, we don't know what gear issues it. We'll figure it out. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's going to get the rest of the trim, um, on the bottom and then it'll get the trim up here. Um, and then we're going to two tone it black and white. So the hood and top of the doors and the top of the bed and then the bottom here will be black. Um, everything else is in really good shape. All the trim, the grill, the bumpers, um, the guy did a really nice job when he did the truck. So, um, a lot of that stuff will remain so we don't have to replace all that stuff. Um, Obviously, like we mentioned, we're going to change the wheels and tires. It has these four wheels on it right now um, that we're going to we're going to unload. Um, little things like this emblem will go away, um, and then there's like one little spot of rust popping through the door, which isn't that big of a deal. We'll fix that um, as we're uh, we're going through it. Um, they did replace the bed. It's a brand new bed, um, except for the tailgate. They reused the tailgate, but we're going to buy a new one for that. Um, it's got a couple little waves in the side. Um, we'll, uh, we'll address that. Well, Joe will address that when he's doing the bodywork on it. But, uh, yeah. Joe's a phantom painter. Yeah. 
they replaced all the all the trim on the back the back bumper we'll go through all that make sure it, um it's uh you know fit and good and all that there's a couple little trim hole uh screws right here we'll make sure that that's factory i don't even know if that's supposed to be there or not so um if it's not we'll replace those and then uh, they put a uh a fuel cell in the center with a hitch and they put this deal in here so we're we're gonna address that um not sure if we'll leave it like that and uh dress it up somehow or do a tail light uh, filler and then do a, a spray and bed liner um, and like I said new tailgate um, other than that the exterior of the truck is you know like I said it's going to stay pretty much the same they actually did a pretty nice job on it but it's not to the uh, the taste of Kirk or myself actually um, it um, it has really nice uh, houndstooth uh, blazer bucket seats and console and matching door panels that we're actually gonna take out of this truck and put a bench seat back in it. Um, you know, so his lady can ride next to him on long drives. Um, so we're gonna redo a, a vinyl bench seat and then put stock door panels. So these, this setup is actually for sale. If anybody's looking for some blazer bucket seats, um, like I said, really nice, just not to the taste of what uh, Kirk's looking for on this truck. And then we're gonna go back to the black gauges and get rid of the white face gauges. Put a new bezel and um, do some painting in here. It'll be black on the inside of the truck um, to match the interior. So, but other than that, um, pretty much, uh, you know, just just some tasteful mods. Really, um, nothing too crazy. It's probably not going to have a camper on it, so that emblem's yeah, gone. Yeah, goes away. Um, like Joe said, he goes, "This is the nicest thing we'll ever work on." You know, <laughs> as far as a starting point. So, um, it was a. Uh, it's a good start so it currently has a 327 in it um it's pretty fresh it doesn't have a lot of miles on it um but this engine is coming out and it is getting the 469 as we mentioned uh the guy mitchell built a big block that's going in this thing and then obviously we'll change up the shroud and the bracketry and all that stuff and then we're gonna try to get the compressor mounted a little bit lower for the AC, um, not have it up so high and gaudy. Um, and then a little bit of powder coating, not too crazy, inner fenders, core support, and a few brackets and stuff like that. Um, and then obviously the engine compartment, I believe all goes black, so. Oh, okay, firewall everything. I, I think so. I yeah. have to look at how they two-tone these things from the factory to see exactly what colors go where, so. Nice, let's yeah. pan over and look at this big block. All right. This engine was in Brett Davis's 55 Chevy and it went 10, 90, something like Better that. Better than that. Was it, what did your car run with this engine? On Brett? the good air day. This was 1084. 1084. So uh, we're just going to change up a few things. We're going to put a dual plane intake on it. Um, and then, uh, yeah, that's basically it. It'll go in the truck the way it sits. So this thing went 1020s in Susie too. Oh, well, there back, you go. Back in the day. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 I think it'll be a pretty good street engine for this truck. Pump so, gas friendly. Yeah. Yeah. It'll, uh, it, it's going to run pretty good. So pretty excited about that. And then obviously the truck came with a few other pieces, um, the, some trim that's not on the truck and, you know, a few other things uh, that'll go on it when we put it together. So Nice. Yeah. Looking forward to this one. It's going to be a fun project. Yeah. We will be back with more truck updates. Uh, I'll set up a, a playlist, so if you want to follow along, follow that playlist. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and yada, yada, yada. Tell your friends. And tell your friends. And share. Thanks. It's free. Right. Happy holidays.